Hi, great that you're back. Today we do an unboxing of the new 70 May Dashcam Pro Plus. This is the kit that includes the rear cam and that is the reason why I bought this kit because um, I wanted to have a rear cam. I hope I can install it in my car because I have a SUV and it's a long way to go from the um, from the rear window all the way up in front because you have to connect it to the camera. So if that does not work, I'm probably gonna install the rear camera to my windshield and have an inside camera then to see what's going on there. Um, I also ordered the hard wiring kit because um, with this I can do a 24 hour time lapse. So when parking the car, it is yeah, monitor it about 24 hours and I, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna install it because I have, to, I have to check how hard it is to install this. So let's open it up. As always, I love the packaging from Xiaomi. It's very high class. It looks very nice. It's um, well designed. It's a, um, it's a cardboard box. So let's see if I can open it up. And then we, we check what's inside. So, okay, here we go. Basically the design is the same as the old Dashcam Pro, but um, yeah, a lot of things have changed. So oh, that's nice, there are some Okay, these are the the installing uh, stickers for the dash cam, which are very cool because you don't have to stick them right away to your windshield or to your rear window. Um, you just apply these stickers and you can always take them off again and replace the camera and you do not have any adhesive stuff on your windshield. So these are really great. I already love them uh, with the first dash cam. I have this dash, the older model now for over two years and it's still working great. So these are the stickers. These are the stickers for the rare dash cam. We have a little user manual here in yeah, in different languages. Um, the new dash cam pro also has more languages. Um, it is the rear camera user manual in here and we have two adhesive pads to stick the camera to the window. Okay, this is the rear camera. Very nice. Let's see how far we can turn. Can we turn it? Yes, we can turn it. So turning angle, angle is like this, so I'd say it's about 45 degrees. You can change the angle of the camera. Okay. This is a um, 1920 by 1080, so this is a um, yeah HD. It has a 130 degree recording angle and it has a um, 2.0 lens in it, so it's pretty good lens in here. So this is the rare camera we have here. This is the new dash cam pro. It, it's heavier than the old one, but that's because the um, GPS and the ADAS module is built in already. You do not have to buy this extra anymore. So the screen size is the same, but the it got a little bit bigger view here. So you have the, the operating buttons here, the switch on and off, and here is the new special thing. You got the DC in, and you got the connection for the rear camera, and you have the micro SD card slot here. So this is cool. You can change the angle, not as much as on the rear camera, but it's I have it on my car all the time, so it's plenty of 
adjusting here. So this is good too. Okay. Let's check the other things out. What's the else in the box? So lots of wiring. Let's take that all out. So this is the holder where it slips in. I think so. Usually you slip it in from So when you put it in your car, you have to keep in mind that you have to slip it in from the top. So you, you need to leave enough space, you can slide it in then there. Um, I think the whole thing got a little thinner because you do not have the ADAS and GPS module anymore. So this is pretty cool. It might give me a little less reflections on the screen because I'm closer to the screen. I will check that out. So this is the Okay, this is the holder. Here we have a very, very long cable. <laughs> this is good. Um, this is for the rear camera, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the power cord for the rear camera. Long cable there. I hope it's long enough for my big car. That is the cable for the front camera. Oh, and that's nice because I think so. If you plug them in, you see this? And if I plug in this one, this is longer, so they won't get in the way. This is very, very cool. And you know, these are the little details I love from uh, Xiaomi and 17 May. Everything feels very high, high quality. Oh, so it switches already on, that's cool. Um, I think the battery is charged a little bit here. So let's check the languages we have here. Eh, no German, okay. So this is this. And this is the explanation for the lights we have here. Um, tap to turn screen on off. Okay. Press and hold. Okay. So, but I'm going to do this later because it will adjust itself uh, as soon as there's a GPS signal. So I'm not doing anything here right now. Uh, parking surveillance cable is not installed. Okay, okay. of course, I, I do not have connected it to a, um, to a battery right now. Um, you can download the app from 70 May and then you can do all the settings also in the app, which is pretty cool. Please insert SD card. Okay. Abnormal time detected. Please calibrate the time manually. Okay, we will do that later. So right now we cannot get any further here because I do not have the SD card here. Let me check if I have one in here. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. You never know. No, no SD card. So I have to put in an SD card. I think it holds up to 178, uh, 128 um, gigabyte card. Um, it does do a recording, so you will have two different folders in your menu for the rear cam and for the front cam. You can switch between the cams, so you could also use the rear cam for parking, for example, um, to check out <laughs> if there's enough space behind you. So um, I guess the red one is the stronger one to charge and you have the dual charger here. And you have this little thing rackle to get in the cable behind your car interior. So this is all what's in the box. So I need to get a SD card. And what else do we have here? That's the hardwire kit. So it has this little manual hardwire kit in, I guess, Chinese and in English. 
and it has this hard wire kit here also with plenty of cable I guess it's the same length as, 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 as this cable here so I have this in spare if I use the hard wiring kit but I have to figure out how to get this in my fuse box and uh, to get it um, connected to my battery so all the material is still very very um, high quality and I'm really curious when I install this all to my car hopefully I get this installed very good to the back it is a plug and play camera so if you plug it in it will install itself to the main camera and um, this is very very cool but what else do we have uh, it does have automatic calibration it has this time lapse function only if it's hardwired um, it has an automatic time zone detection front camera has 140 degree and 1.8 lens it has dual recording um, only thing I'm a little sad about, it doesn't have voice control anymore. With the old um, Dashcam Pro, I could say take a picture and automatically it took a picture or I say start recording and it started recording. This is gone. Yeah, well, I'm probably going to miss it, yeah. But um, the rest is better now. It has a 2.7 uh, resolution. And it keeps this resolution. So if I plug in the rear camera, it doesn't downgrade in the resolution. The front camera will still record in 2.7 if I want to. I can choose different resolutions. And the rear camera will use uh, will record in 1080p. So this is pretty cool too. Um, yeah, this is what's all in the box with the 70 May Dashcam Pro Plus and rear cam set. And uh, I will mount it to my car and see if there are any difference in the, in, the, in the quality of the recordings. The quality was very good before, but I'm very curious if it's even better. And um, yeah, and I have to try to figure out how I get this to my rear window uh, because it has an SUV. And um, I can open up the tailgate, so I have to figure out how to do this and how to get the wiring through my entire car all the way up in front. So this is going to be the hard part. I hope I figure that out. Well, if not, it's going to go in front and I can um, also monitor the inside of my car. Okay, if you like this little unboxing video, give me a thumbs up and check out my next videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.